Hello everybody and welcome back to Grand Bazaar. It is the 23rd. We are a day before our final bazaar of the season and today is the wine festival. In the first year, Felix was nice enough to drop us off a bottle of wine so that we could participate because our options are very limited in year one. Now, in year two, we're completely on our own, but due to some poor planning on my part, I guess you would call it, I actually do not have wine to participate in this festival this year which really isn't the end of the world because all we're gonna get is some friendship and a piece of cheese. I do think I should go over a bunch of different methods that I found so that you all watching know your options so that you can participate if you want to. Part of my problem was that I was very, very late in planting trees. I just procrastinated. I couldn't make up my mind about what it was that I wanted to plant. So my grape tree isn't ready yet. And if I had grapes, it wouldn't have been a problem. All I would have had to do was come over to the windmill that's here on my farm and this windmill will make all of the different kinds of wines. And you can see that just a very basic red wine requires one grape. If you have a muscat tree, you can also make a basic white wine. The type of wine does not matter. Any wine will work. And then from there you can make a few different fancier wines if you wish but that is very simple because you have access to grape trees and muscat trees with plenty of time to plant them to be ready for this festival so that is probably the easiest way and you can also then have wine as an option for profit as well because wine sells for a pretty decent amount of money and it's also great because it doesn't expire. It's kind of like tea leaves. So you could definitely make your own wine. Your second option is to play the Lucky Lotto at the bazaar. You can get a wine prize if you get first place when the bazaar is at 50% of its size. And once it reaches 100% of its size and it's fully upgraded, you could also win wine as a prize for winning second place. But I don't recommend that because it's risky and completely based on chance. It's definitely the most unreliable method. Yay. And then your third and final option is to buy wine from either Joan or Nelly at the bazaar. And both of them should sell glasses of wine starting in year two, depending on the season, their wine will change. And I wasn't entirely sure if a glass of wine would count. I would think it wouldn't. Why would you bring a singular cup of wine to an event where everybody's going to be sharing? But believe it or not, I did some testing and it worked. I just happened to be able to buy a glass of apple wine from Joan at the last bazaar. I just did a little bit of manipulation until I got the stock that I wanted. And then I basically slept through to the wine festival today, presented it to Felix, and he accepted it. So that's another good option 
if you don't feel like growing trees because you should have lots of opportunity to do that and the wine should stay fresh right up until the festival. So lots and lots of different ways to get wine. I really don't have a very good excuse as to why I am not participating today. It's a mix of procrastination and the fact that I didn't actually know that you can present just a singular glass of wine. I will still go and say hello to everybody. I don't feel too badly missing out on this festival either because all I'm gonna get is a little bit of friendship, which is nice, but it's not the end of the world to miss out on it. We're doing pretty well with our friendships overall. And then I would be given a piece of cheese, which I can just make in the windmill. Still waiting for my wheat. It's taking quite a long time. I had my potatoes grow in and I'm now growing some turnips. I mostly just want to get rid of some of my seeds in my inventory. And if I have some time today, I'd also like to do a little bit of cooking because with all of the different things I bought from the bazaar, the rice, the oil, the buckwheat flour, the curry powder, growing my potatoes and having those ready to go alongside my cheese, milk, egg, etc. I was able to cook over 25 different recipes with all the stuff that I have right now. Cooking 25 different recipes is going to take me forever to do so I'm not going to cook all of them on screen but I would like to cook a few things I'm also going to give Freya a present we married her we were very excited about it but I haven't actually talked about Freya all that much just because everything is going well we chat, she goes out to work, she's home in the evening, and we just have to kind of keep her happy for the next little while, and then we will get an event, probably in the winter time. But for now, Freya's just very happy to be here. I'm happy she's there. I still wish that she would participate in festivals. I think that that's really a downer. Because it's not like she doesn't have friends in this town. She used to go to the cafe every day after work. I hope they don't think I'm keeping her prisoner or something. That would be my concern. Would be the town thinking I'm not allowing her to leave the house or something like that. I'll pick up some more flowers here to give out as gifts. It's simple, but it works. And I have lots and lots of flowers to give away. I really don't have much of a use for them anymore. As much as I used to. Just because I'm not as focused on giving gifts to all of the bachelorettes and I don't really have to give them gifts anymore either because their friendship is completely maxed so not a bad thing that I can kind of focus on the other villagers I also think that Dirk's friendship is maxed but I'll give him a flower anyways just to be nice There's the odd person in this crowd that likes yellow flowers as opposed to red or blue, but I would say a good 80% of this crowd enjoys either red or blue, so that makes it pretty easy for me to give out some gifts here. Raul is closed today. His brothers are in town, but I'm still going to give him a red flower anyways, because why not? 
Here you go, buddy. And we can only really see his brothers at the bazaar. They're strictly business. They won't accept gifts if I try to give them gifts. And I'm also going to give Kevin a frog. Clean up my inventory a little bit. I gave most people gifts. Give Marion a piece of lavender because she loves herbs. And I will also give Joan a red flower. These two prefer yellow, but that's okay. Same with Angelo, he prefers yellow. I don't really have a gift for him. I wish I had an egg or something in my bag to give him. It's kind of a shame. I have quite a few gifts for him at home, but he'll take the red flower. Not a big deal. Hey, yeah. So at least I managed to talk to everybody. I gave pretty much every single person a gift today or talk to them. And we will just have to catch them all at the next festival and my trees should be coming in relatively soon so i will have the ability to make my own wine sooner than later especially with it growing in my basement all i have to do is change the season and i can pretty much access that anytime that that season is active, which is fantastic. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna come over to my main windmill over here, spin the blades. And I haven't had a chance to talk about the blue wonderful that I bought. But as you can see, I have put it into the windmill. It took me a very long time to be able to put it in because in order to be able to put the wonderful in, you cannot be making anything. You have to have no production whatsoever, which is pretty difficult for me because this is my main windmill. It is always making something. I'm always churning out seeds, making honey bottling my walnuts or my chestnuts it pretty much runs 24 7 and i had some tea leaf seeds in there which was taking forever and right now i have some perfume going which is also taking a very long time what i will tell you though is that this wonderful is absolutely amazing very very helpful and definitely cuts down the time on production i tried to look up whether there was a percentage of how much time it saves but i wasn't able to find an exact number the blue wonderful really is just what you use to shorten the amount of time that everything takes so if you have that wonderful in and you spin your blades, it cuts down the time significantly. I have been able to churn out seeds way, way, way faster than normal. So I've been able to get through my stacks of peppers, all of my grass seeds have been going through there with no issues. Which is great because that makes the bazaars that much easier. So yellow pepper seeds is going to take just shy of 10 hours with our blades spinning and the blue wonderful in place. Which is definitely less than it used to be. I feel like it took at least... 12 hours before because I don't recall being able to put pepper seeds in and collect them on the same day even if I was spinning my blades hey, yeah. so I don't have an exact number 
All I know is that it is extremely helpful and unfortunately you're only able to own one, which I think is an absolute ripoff. So if you want to move the wonderful, like if I wanted to put it into this windmill, which you can see I have the option to do because I'm not currently making anything, I would have to take it from the other windmill and swap it into here and just kind of go back and forth, which is a little bit inconvenient. I do feel like the other windmill is definitely the best place for me to have that as of right now because seeds do take a very long time to make. But who knows, once I have the ability to make wine and alcohol, and once I'm able to start pickling stuff, it may turn out that this process takes a very, very long time, and it might be wise of me at that time to instead swap it out and put it in here. I don't know. So that is how Wonderfuls work and we will have access to another wonderful come winter time, but the vast majority of the wonderfuls are going to be seen in year three. Believe it or not, we have quite a few unlockable things coming up in year three. They kind of just slowly drip feed you unlockables which is fine i guess but i am going to max out my bazaar and sort of finish the main story and all of the big major goals by the time that i am able to do things like get all of the wonderfuls and finish all of my windmill recipes and things like that so I guess it really just depends on how much you're loving the game and how much of a completionist you are. I will try and stick around into year three a little bit, I think. But I'm really kind of nervous for winter time. I am not sure how much I'm going to be doing in the winter. It went pretty smoothly last year, but I'm a little bit worried that things are going to be a little bit monotonous. We have a little bit of time left in this video, so why don't we do a little bit of cooking? I bought two pieces of buckwheat flour because there are only two recipes that use this, so why don't we start with that? The first recipe just requires using buckwheat flour on its own with nothing added to make some cold soba noodles. I don't imagine that this is going to sell for very much, but I will be selling it at the bazaar tomorrow and I guess we're going to find out. More for the sake of completion than anything else, of course. Our second recipe is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna take the flour and combine it with an egg and some cheese. And that is our second dish. I like that it's on a blue plate. That's kind of a different sort of presentation. I feel like that really makes it pop. It looks super appetizing. I don't know what that is, but it actually looks really, really delicious. So that is our second dish. Those are the only two dishes that use buckwheat flour. So we can cross that off as an ingredient on our list. And from here, it's a little bit overwhelming as to where we want to start because we have so many options. We can dive into some tofu dishes, we have a ton of dishes to make using rice. So I think I'm gonna start with rice because it's really, really versatile and it's used in a lot of stuff. Rice on its own really isn't used a lot, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is put rice in 
on its own as an ingredient with nothing else. I'm gonna cook up 15 of these. And this will give us cooked rice. And Claire will sell this year round, I believe, once you unlock her store. So you have a lot of options to buy this. If you see it at the bazaar, I definitely recommend buying it because it's used in a lot of stuff. It's kind of like having flour. Flour gives you the ability to make a lot of different stuff. I also have these bottled chestnuts in my inventory and I didn't realize that you can make a recipe with these on their own so I'm gonna do that really quick as well. And this is a type of dessert. So this actually goes into our dessert category. And I'm going to start by making Angelo's favorite dish. And it's just a little bit extra onto a dish that we already have. I'm needing oil and I know I have some somewhere. There it is, right in front of my face and I can't find it. So I'm going to combine oil, a little bit of milk, my cooked rice, and then finally we're going to take an egg. Combine all those things together and you get omelet rice. So if you're wanting to marry Angelo, this is his absolute favorite dish and you only need the cooked rice as an extra to omelets which we've been making for quite a while so I thought that I would show that off because that's a pretty simple one using ingredients that we've already been using for a really long time but it kind of just elevates things a little bit I'm also disorganized because I've got some of the stuff in my bag and some of the stuff in my storage, so apologies for going back and forth between the two to kind of hunt stuff down. Next, I'm going to combine cooked rice with an egg. Simple, easy, you get yourself some egg rice. I think that's one that you can also buy at some point as well some of these obviously i probably would have unlocked earlier if i had just purchased them but i think it's more fun to cook them on your own if you can because they're also going to be higher quality of course now i'm just trying to think what i would like to make next i suppose we can take our cooked rice which I tried to put into my storage but couldn't and instead of an egg we will combine it with some milk to get ourselves some milk rice porridge and again just like when I had wheat and I had flour and I had bread I'm just trying to kind of keep it simple we definitely have access to some recipes that are a little bit more complex. We can also combine it with some oil and an egg to get another new dish. Some fried rice. Oh, I love fried rice. Absolutely delicious. We also bought some curry powder when we were at the bazaar and we can start using that to make some curries. We are missing a few ingredients to make the more complicated, more expensive curries, unfortunately. But we can start somewhere. We can combine cooked rice with some curry powder to make dry curry. 
Now my bag is getting completely full. I'm gonna have to start throwing stuff on the ground, which is so incredibly <laughs> sanitary. I'm sure Frey is looking at me like I'm a crazy person. Running out of rice here, so we'll just do a couple more recipes. We'll take it a step further. We'll take the rice and the curry powder like we did last time. And then this time we'll just add some milk. And that will once again give us a completely different recipe, which is milk curry. So again, just a few examples. I could keep going. I have probably 20 more recipes that I could make at this point, but I'm just gonna keep track of the ones that I've cooked and we'll kind of carry on and fit cooking in here and there, I think is what we're gonna do from now on just to fill out our menu the best that we can. I haven't even touched on some of the stuff that I'm able to make now that I have potatoes, but the appetizer section is getting filled out now. It's looking a little bit better. We've been able to add a few things here. Uh, same with the main dish category. Now, most of what we cooked today actually contributed to this category, which is nice because it really needs the help. We only have 10 of 57 available, which is kind of sad. Desserts are another one that are completely lacking. However, I have purposely left chocolate at the bazaar and I'm gonna have to get some more wheat before I can really tackle desserts. The cooked rice went into our other category along with our bread, which is also severely lacking as well. But the good news about the other category is that it's mostly just teas and wine in a glass. So that's fairly easy to fill out once we have access to fruit and our trees come in. We can kind of fill this out as we go. It is bizarre day tomorrow. I am going to fill out my inventory and do all my inventory management the best that I can and gear up for our final bazaar of the fall season before we head into our last week. And I'm gonna be slowly transitioning and making myself ready for our final season of year two, which is coming up very fast. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.